Hey there YouTube, it's Paul Oz here once again. Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about the dumbbell that I found in the Quad Cortex cloud over at Neural DSP's cloud which you basically access through a phone app which is super cool. All right, let's dive right in. So this is a neural capture. Neural captures are really, really awesome. They basically are other people around the world who get to capture their device. They run it through the back, through the send and return and all that other good stuff. And they end up capturing famous amplifiers, famous pedals with exact settings. Okay, mind you, 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 they are exact, but then you can go and modify them with the gain, bass, middle, treble, as well as volume. So as you can see, this is the D50. C1, which means channel one. I'm not sure what I8 Mr. PAB MP5 is supposed to mean, but it sounds like this. And it's pretty damn good, pretty convincing. Now, you might hear some audio tearing. That is just because there's been some issues with the power today, so I do apologize if that is showing up in the video right now. But anyway, let's continue on. So the next one that I've got lined up is channel two. And it's really fun to play around with this, but the thing about it is, sure it's an amp, but what's the cabinet situation like? Well, right now I've got a actual archetype, archetype Cory Wong rather, and I've got loaded some custom IRs, some third party goodness that I really enjoy so that I can match it with this and make it sound really... <laughs> Make it sound really tasty and, and lovely. And the next thing I'm going to do is activate the Klon Centaur here. It's called the himself Klon KTR. It's at 75%, uh, which means the pedal is turned up 75%. And I've actually increased the gain by 7 dB so that it's got a lot more hair on it. So let's hear how that sounds. Voice 2 with my Fishman Classic. <laughs> Really fun to play around with this. There's lots of hair on this signal, so you're gonna hear a little bit of noise basically, but that's what the noise gate's for in the first block here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I've already preloaded a reverb, a third party reverb from Valhalla DSP, highly recommended if you're into any kind of production, because it just has so much space. <laughs> Really, really nice. Really, really clear. There's something really pure about this sound. And what's funny is that these neural captures, man, it's ridiculous. The dumbbells are like, what, 50 grand for the right dumbbell? And then this Centaur, I mean, if it's an actual Klon, uh, I believe that those can go up to like, I don't know, a couple thousand dollars to a more than a few thousand dollars. So like, what is this? If you really want to make it hyper bouge, right? We're looking at a $50,000 amp and a $2,000 guitar pedal with some cheap noise gate in the front so that you don't hear ah for the whole video. <laughs> This sounds really nice. So I'm not going to show you any of the other stuff with the IRs. They're third party. I'm not going to talk about them just yet. There will be another video on those. But I'm going to play a little bit around with this. So that was the channel two with the reverb and the goodness. Now let's turn on that channel one again and see what it's all about. Oh, really? 
really satisfying. What would I use this for? What's this tone for? Man, Aldemeola and Santana. That's what I'd use this tone for. I'd use it to play some Clapton if I knew any Clapton. I've used it to play Ozzy, much of the much of the surprise of my partner. Because it just works really well. Now, does it have enough gain? I don't really know. It doesn't really have enough gain for Randy Rhodes solos, I would say. You need to have even more gain. But it works really, really well. And the thing, the reason why I haven't used um, any of the Neural DSP cabinet stuff is just because I really like third party IRs that I'm using right now. They uh, do the trick for me. I use the Neural DSP IRs as, as well, but I mean, these other ones are really great, so I'm gonna utilize them, why not? And with the $50,000 amp, you wanna have exactly the right kind of cabinets, right? I think it sounds really stellar. I hope that you enjoyed this short video talking about this Dumble. I call it the Dumble Shine because it's got a lot of brightness to it. And yeah, that's about it for now, folks. I'll catch you next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Throw me a like if you actually liked it because it helps with the algorithm and all that crap. I'll see you next time. I'm gonna play myself out. <laughs>